Aibwa. Welcome to Project Ventive. In our today's video, we are going to talk about the Aibwa. Before the video starts, like and share this video also subscribe to our YouTube channel Project Ventive for more updates. Robotic dogs called Aibwa are produced and designed by Sony. Midway through 1998, Sony revealed an Aibwa prototype. On May 11, 1999, the first consumer version was unveiled. Up until 2006, new models were released each year. Even though dogs made up the majority of the models, lion cubs, huskies, Jack Russell Terriers, Bull Terriers, and Space Explorers were also used as models. The 210 can also be seen as a dog because of its Jack Russell Terrier appearance and face, while only the ERS-7, ERS-110-111, and ERS-1000 variants were specifically a robotic dog. The Carnegie Mellon University Robot Hall of Fame inducted AIBO in 2006. To increase corporate profitability, Sony stated on January 26, 2006, that AIBO and numerous other products would be discontinued. Sony gradually discontinued IBO customer support, with support for the final ERS, 7 cubic meters expiring in March 2013. Sony discontinued offering repairs for IBO products in July 2014 and no longer offers customer service or repairs for the older IBO robots. Sony revealed a new version of IBO in November 2017. On January 11, 2018, Japan introduced the ERS-1000, a model from the fourth generation. On February 6, 2018, a second lottery auction was scheduled. The Sony Computer Science Laboratory is where the AIBO product line was created, CSL. CSL was established in 1990 to ape the innovation hub at Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center, PARC. The Ape Rios operating system, which eventually served as the foundational software for various AIBO models, was CSL's first creation. Nobuyuki Ide tried to pursue a digital agenda and give CSL more significance when he took over as president of Sony in 1995. A new robot dog for a new era. The most recent iteration of Aibwa is significantly more capable technically than its predecessors. Because of these capabilities, the ERS-1000 is the largest and heaviest of all the Aibwa models that have been produced up until this point. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 820, which is optimized for high performance while consuming a low amount of power, serves as the ERS-1000 central processing unit. I expect the next Aibwa iteration will include the more powerful Snapdragon 845. The Snapdragon processor that Aibwa uses is essential since the robot incorporates a large number of convergent technologies. Hence, it needs a relatively powerful processor and connectivity. Aibwa is equipped with a camera that faces forward and uses a technology called Simultaneous Location and Mapping SLAM, to create a map of the surface it is standing on, be it a table or the ground. Aibwa is also equipped with Wi, Fi and LTE connectivity, which enables it to function both inside and outside of the home, as well as save and retrieve its personality. Due to the fact that Aibwa requires a connection to an LTE network, it is presently only available in Japan and the United States the only two countries that currently have LTE and cloud service. LTE is a fantastic way to region lock Aibwa, and I believe Sony is just testing the market in preparation for expanding its reach before doing so. Aibwa is also equipped with two organic light, emitting diode, OLED, screens for its eyes and four microphones for recognizing voice commands in addition to its connectivity. Beagle Brown is an additional color choice that can be selected for the Aibwa in Japan. In the United States, the Aibwa is only offered in its regular color scheme of silver. Putting the Aibwa to the test Sony allowed me to borrow an Aibwa to experiment with for a week. As an analyst, I spend a lot of time away from home. There is no need for me to worry about finding someone to feed and walk it when I'm out of town since I have Aibwa. In theory, he is the perfect dog for my lifestyle. It seems as though Aibwa was designed with the next generation of pet owners in mind specifically those who are away from home for long periods of time due to work or vacation. I couldn't wait to get my hands on Aibwa and judge for myself whether or not it was a suitable substitute for a real dog. Later variants of AIBOs continued to win design accolades and were created in collaboration with renowned Japanese designers. Lion Cubs were the design inspiration for the ERS-210. The Round, headed AIBOs Latte and Mac Aaron 
which were released in 2001, were part of the ERS 3X series, whose bodies were designed by visual artist Katsura Mishino, who won the Good Design Award. Shoji K. Awamori's design for the ERS 220 Sleek, a cutting, edge, and futuristic body, which was inspired by space travel, won both the Good Design Award and a Design for Asia Award. A Good Design Award was also given to the ERS 7. Ide's successor, Howard Stringer, shut down AIBO and other robotic initiatives almost 10 years later. More than 100 Sony co-workers showed up for Doi's mock funeral that followed. Doi stated during the event that the AIBO represented a risk, taking spirit at Sony that was now deceased. Sony Corporation announced in November 2017 that AIBO would make a comeback with a new model that would be able to develop an emotional connection with users. Models Prototypes Sony has exhibited several prototypes. Early versions had six legs and resembled insects. According to a Sony press release, the specifications and design of the 1997 and 1998 prototypes are very similar to those of the first generation AIBOs. There are some differences, such as the option to replace the legs with a two-wheeled rolling module, the use of PC cards rather than memory stick media for memory, and the usage of two batteries. ERS 110 The first AIBO to be made commercially, ERS 110 resembles a beagle and is silver with a golden, brown tint and gray claws. A total of five, zero, zero, zero units were produced, with three, zero, zero, zero going to Japan and two, zero, zero, zero going to the US market. On June 1, 1999, sales started and were completed online in about 20 minutes. It is frequently regarded as the most uncommon AIBO model. ERS 110 cost 250, 000 yen, or 2 US dollars, 500, which, in 2020, would equal more than 3 dollars, 500. ERS 111 The original AIBO was enhanced with the advent of the ERS 111, which was sold for the same price. It resembles ERS 110 in appearance but has distinct ear and tail forms. It was also available in shiny silver or metallic black with black claws. 40, 000 of them were produced. ERS 210 The ERS 210, which came in the colors black, silver, gold, red, blue, green, and white, was created to resemble a lion cub but was shaped like a dog with a flat bull terrier face and a Jack Russell terrier appearance. With over 65, 000, 000 units sold, it was the most popular AIBO model and had speech recognition capabilities. When it first went on sale, it cost about $1, 500, but later dropped to less than $1, 000. ERS, 220. Based on a Shoji Kawamori space exploration robot concept, the ERS, 220 had a more futuristic appearance. Its headlights and colorful LEDs featured a chrome finish. For 180, 000 yen, 5, 000, 000, 7, 000, 000 units were sold. An optional wireless local area network allowed for remote operation. Specifications include a height of 29.6 centimeters, a weight of 1.5 kilograms, a continuous operation time of 1.5 hours, by default a rechargeable battery operation time of 2.5 hours or more, and 16 degrees of freedom, drive unit. Hardware The hardware of the first ERS-110 AIBO consists of a 64-bit RISC processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, touch, camera, rangefinder, microphone, acceleration, and angular velocity sensors, as well as a speaker, actuators, and a speaker, legs, neck, mouth, tail, more sensors and actuators were added as the series progressed. A modification model known as the SuperCore was included around the end of the second AIBO model, 20X, and it corrected a problem with the robot's head clutch that led to PAS, TAS, and DHS, also known as tilting, panning, and drooping problems. The designation SuperCore refers to the significantly faster processor that was part of these version models. Some second, generation AIBOs offered Y. Phi as an add, on. The ERS, 7s, the third family of AIBOs, have expressive illum, faces, numerous head and body sensors, 
clicking your actuators, a proximity sensor position on the chest, Y, Fi connectivity, and multiple head and body sensors. Software. All AIBOs came with AIBO Life software, which allowed the robot to walk, use a camera to see its surroundings, understand spoken orders in English, Spanish, or Japanese, and form personalities. Nabukazu Takemura, a Japanese DJ and avant, guard musician used mechanical and organic ideas when programming the sounds for AIBO. Masaya Matsura, a Japanese musician and game designer, created the sounds for ERS, 7 Mind and the User, generated data. Open, R and Aprios. All AIBOs, QRIO, and several other consumer electronics are powered by Sony's proprietary real, time operating system, called Aprios. With real, time capabilities to manage many concurrent audio and visual data streams, Aprios OS was designed to be extensively distributed. As a result of the operating system's lack of popularity, Sony discontinued actively developing it in 2003, with COO Kinetake Ando stating that Ape Rios was an operating system of a pre-internet age and we determined that it isn't adequate for the future. Entertainment robots only use the OPEN, our architecture. The architecture makes use of interchangeable modular software components to alter the behavior and gates of the robots, as well as modular hardware components like appendages that can be readily removed and replaced to alter the shape and function of the robots. DOI, who invented AIBO, referred to OPEN, R as the masterpiece of the AIBO development project, claiming that it would reduce the need for scripting specific movements or reactions and that its open character would inspire a global community of robot experts and programmers to add functionality. AIBOware Different software packages sold by Sony can be loaded on AIBO machines from the first and second generations. The software that the AIBO uses to operate on its pink memory stick is referred to as AIBOware, a trademark of the Sony Corporation. Its life with the aid of AIBOware, a robot can be raised from a pup to an adult, developing through several phases as its user interacts with it. The Explorer AIBOware enables the owner to communicate with a fully developed robot that can recognize 100 spoken commands but may not always be willing to follow them. Without AIBOware, AIBOs operate in clinic mode and are limited to simple tasks. Environment for Software Development by AIBO Initially, only Sony and organizations taking part in RoboCup had access to programming tools. Users created their software that worked with AIBOware by reverse, engineering AIBO, such as Disco Ibwa, which made the robotic dog dance to music. In an important step for copyright, Sony invoked the Digital Millennium Copyright Act in October 2001 and demanded that IBOPET stop disseminating code that had been obtained through getting around copy protection measures. Sony backed down in response to protests from numerous incensed AIBO owners and later offered a programmer's kit for non-commercial use. The R, Code, OPN, RSDK, and AIBO Remote Framework are three separate tools that were eventually added to the original kit. The AIBO software development environment is the term given to the combination of these three technologies. While OPN, RSDK is only intended for non-commercial usage, R, Code and AIBO Remote Framework were both free to download and may be used for either commercial or non-commercial reasons. How is the video? Do you like it? Post your precious feedback in our comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Project Ventive for more videos.